Hey guys and ladies, today what I'm going to show you how to do is how to clean solar panels, clean the surface area of the solar panels. And I was doing a lot of research online trying to find a DIY method, a do-it-yourself method. And I ran into a guy named Mitchell on YouTube who recorded a video showing his process of cleaning one. And I thought that was like an excellent, simple, professional way of doing it. Uh, so that's what I'm going to show you in this video. There are a lot of methods to doing this. I don't think that this is the absolute best method, but it is a method that does work. So in a way, without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so the components or the ingredients that you're going to need for this is just some vinegar. Any type of vinegar would do. All vinegar is is just basically a weak form of acid, which forms through the fermentation of sugars and starch. So in this case, what it's going to do is just help remove any residue that we have from our next ingredient, which is some dishwashing liquid. And then all you need is some water, just three fourth cups of water, and then just a soft rag. Any type of rag should do. So we're going to need one tablespoon of some vinegar, two tablespoons of dishwashing liquid, three fourth cups of water, and again, just any type of rag. So I'm going to take my vinegar here. about three or four squirts of this dishwashing liquid is about two tablespoons for me and after that just shake it up and mix it up however you wish to and that's all to it So as you can see here on the front of my shed, I have a small solar panel. It's a five watt solar panel. And I just wanted to test my solution on this small solar panel before I got on top of the roof and finished the other solar panels. So this one does have a little dirt on it. Nothing that I probably couldn't just wipe off, but it is just a, a good solar panel just to test it on first to see how well it does. Definitely to see if it's gonna leave any residue on it. So anyway, let's start with this one. All right, so if you have a lot of different particles on it, like this one does, I think some pollen or any something like that, I would just wipe it off with a dry cloth just to get the, the basic hard material off first. And then just squirt this water bottle. There we go. It's basically like you're just cleaning a, a wonder in your home. Not rocket science here. So the material or the bacteria is really coming up very nicely, very impressed with that. Definitely tell that the dishwashing detergent is helping as well as the vinegar. So it's going to get around the edges here. Again, not really concerned about the, the frame itself, but just trying to get the glass here nice and clean. And that's looking very, very nice. Alright, so that's all to it. All right, so I'm gonna apply the same method or approach that I did before up here. Get off any debris, any dust that's on the top of it with a dry cloth. Then take a spray bottle, solution. Get it started, come on, come on. There we go. Spread all on the glass here. Again, just like you're washing a, a window in your home, you're gonna take your other cloth and just start to wipe it off. So I know a, a common question is, how often should I clean my solar panels? It really is based on where you're living at, your location. If you live somewhere where you're accumulating a lot of dust, a lot of leaves and different things on your solar panels, you're gonna probably be cleaning them more often than I have to. Honestly, I really live in an area where I'm not receiving a lot of bacteria on my solar panels. Again, these have been up here over a year now. And as you can see, they, they really weren't that dirty. I really could have just left them as they are right now and just let the rain continue to clean them off from time to time. But mostly you just wanna to continue to try to keep them as clean as possible because it can affect your uh, power production. So anyway, just, that was done. Just gonna move on to the next one here. All right, so as you can see, the solar panels are now clean. 
man I'm really liking what I'm seeing here it's not leaving any residue on these whatsoever it was very easy to clean up any type of bird droppings that I had on here any type of dust or any other bacteria so definitely recommend this solution thanks to Miku youtuber on YouTube definitely will post a link to his profile so it has been fun if you have any questions please do let me know I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible see you next time